and I have a perfect sparse little frame there. Can't get much less of a car than that. Now let's build it back up. Let's start with bringing out a box and a cylinder. another cylinder and a sphere. So these are the shapes we're going to need for the body. Okay, first thing to do is take one of the two cylinders and turn it on its side, so 90 degrees. Now if you hold down the shift key, rotation will snap in 45 degree increments. So let's do that and you move it to 90 and then that moves there real fast. So this uh, cube is 20 millimeters high and we want this cylinder to be exactly half uh, to overlap it by half. So instead of zero we need to move this up by 10 because that's half of 20. And now I can align these two. So they're perfectly overlapping. And I can group them. It's not aligned perfectly this way though, so let me undo that. Ungroup it, and then we're going to do a line again. There we go. So we do want these all perfectly lined up. This doesn't work if they're not perfectly lined up. So there we have it. Okay, now. Uh, same thing for here, we want it to move up exactly, so that is exactly half, so instead of zero height, we want it to be 10, <clears throat> because this cylinder is 20 high, and then we'll select both of those and align them. And as we just learned, we have to align them both directions. Okay then group those. Next, we want to get this overlapping that by half. So to make things easier, I'm just going to do 0 and 0 on the distance take this opportunity to get those lined up now so one is hiding inside the other which is okay so now I can move this negative 10 and it'll be exactly halfway Okay, let's select both of those and drag it down here. So this is going to be the body for our car eventually. We need to make it a little more sleek looking. So we need to make this part, this orange part here longer. So I'm going to start doing a non-uniform scale, dragging from the end. I could get rid of the ruler for right now, by the way. That'll make the interface a little cleaner. So instead of being 20, I want it to be longer. But I don't want to lose where that center is. So I'm going to hold down the Alt key. We've seen this before. And I'm going to go from 20 to 50. there gives us a nice long shape there 
Now I'm going to make this longer. And here's where our reference comes in handy. Let's say I move these over here beside that block and zoom in and move this down to the front so that it's inside that block if you look at it from the side. Okay, then select just this back part and drag it out so that it is again just inside the length of that block. So that's looking good. Now, now we can group these two. And move this over. So far, so good. I think it should be a little bit bigger, wouldn't you say? So I'm going to do a uniform scale. Remember the uniform scale is holding down the shift key and dragging out from the corner. Problem with that though is that we are too long now, so we're going to have to ungroup and move it over. But you know this is this is part of the process is adjusting things until it, you get it right, and going back and forth. But because it's on the computer, we can do this without any problem. Now I want to line this with the middle of the template. And you might ask, why don't I just use a line? Well, because if I were to use the align tool, you can see that it moves both the block and the body so that they're in line. But I don't want to move the block at all because that would move it in relation to the wheels and I want the wheels and the block to stay then the template block to stay uh, in the same position so here's the trick and drag out our ruler again and you might notice there is a little tiny arrow near the ruler and that says use midpoint so if I click on that, it switches to use corner, but I see that I am, the ruler is currently 33.53 millimeters from the edge. And so I select the block here and I'm 35.25, so I need to do that other one, which is 33.53. So if I type in 33.53, that moves it and lines it up perfect with uh, the block, the template block. Okay, so I'm going to move up a little ways. And the car's starting to look faster than a block of wood, but uh, still kind of looks like half a hot dog on wheels. We need the make this look a little bit faster. And the difference between half a hot dog on wheels and a fast racer is uh, rotating, making it lean forward. So we're going to take this and rotate it. There, you can just hear it go vroom vroom. Okay. 
lower it down so that it fits inside the block. We're actually going to want the nose to be underneath the edge there. So what we need to do is we need to have a guide. I'm going to bring out a block. Now the box is, if you recall, oh, we're on midpoint still, so I need to say use corner, 11.95 millimeters up. So I need to make this 11.95 millimeters up. So now the bottom of that is aligned with the bottom of the block, but I need the top of the block to align with the bottom. So I can't use a line again. Um, I need to sort of inverse the alignment here, so I need to subtract 20 from 11.95. So 11.95 minus 20 is negative 805. I'm going to do negative 8.05 and there I am lined up with the bottom. So I can turn this into a hole which I'm going to need to do it eventually anyways and drag it out with non-uniform scales so that it completely overlaps. Now I can see better what's going on with the car. I still want to lean it forward more so the nose is down into the hole. But I'm up too high now in the back end so I'm going to rotate and just drag it down. All right, doing good. Now to get that design like I had in the other, in the example, I need to cut off some of the top. So I'm gonna copy this hole. Actually, I'm gonna duplicate, edit, duplicate. I'm gonna drag that up. And there you can see where it's overlapping. And I want it overlapping so that shape there on the top is like that. On the bottom here, I need to make sure that uh, the hole is big enough to cut off the entire bottom part of it. And so now I can select all three of these things and group them together. And there we are. We've got the body done.